bit of a different show today. As I think I mentioned the other day, I have been sick lately. I've had laryngitis in the mornings, and when I don't have that, I have terrible coughing fits that kick in at the worst possible time. So we'll just keep this short. I uh, was planning on doing a demo on how I put the podcast together, and so I have done that. And here it is. Enjoy. So this is the first step in my journey to create a podcast along my new workflow, which is, is working quite well for me. So I'm going to just switch view here for a second. Um, so you can see in this screen I've got two files. I've got this Doctor Who real-time uh, raw name, whatever, AIF, and I've got this real-time AIF. Now what these represent is uh, this first one is my studio recording of um, the podcast using Audio Hijack software, which this, these uh, podcasts are done over Skype, and so at my end, uh, my voice and microphone is being recorded directly to one side of a dual mono, well, stereo, but dual mono because each track is being used independently. And then Audio Hijack is picking up the audio coming from Skype, and it's uh, recording that in the other track. And then uh, at the remote end, my co-host, Simon, uh, the second file, that's his recording of just his side of the conversation. And so uh, we're going to go through and turn these into a single podcast. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm using this application called The Levelator 2. It's been around for a long time. They're not developing it anymore, and I don't know what's going to happen in this world. Because podcasts everywhere use this darn thing. It's, it's a wonderful tool 99 times out of 100. But what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking his audio and we're just going to drop it on the level later uh, and it's going to run and we're going to speed this up now. Okay, well you can see that it's created this real-time output.aiff, and that is um, a leveled version. That is, it's it's evened out the peaks, it's raised it up, it's lowered it down. It it it's, saves a lot of work. So I'm going to do the same with my side of it, and let's speed her up again. And we go. It's finished. So I'm done with the levelator here, maybe. And just for my own sake, uh, I'm going to take those two original files and drop them in here. Okay, so we're ready to start editing the podcast properly. I've got Final Cut Pro open here now. Of course, Final Cut Pro is a video editor, but people use Final Cut Pro to edit movies with Dolby 4.1 surround sound multi-track uh, output and uh, or at least you know make the initial pass at it before they send it off to a to a proper audio handler. It's more than adequate to handling my piffling little podcast even though it doesn't have any video associated with it. And uh, part of the reason that I'm using this is because I'm just so much faster at editing with Final Cut Pro. So We'll just uh, start with that. So the first thing I'm going to do here in Final Cut is I'm going to uh, create a new library. Now, a library is, well, it's a library in Final Cut Pro. It's, it's basically where you do your work. So I'm going to go in here into my uh, podcast directory, and I'm just going to create a Final Cut Pro subdirectory. And I am going to put this, uh, I'm going to call it uh, 206. Doctor Who real time because I have no imagination uh, and we'll we'll come back to that no imagination thing uh, repeatedly and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import media and I am going to go back here to this and here are those two files that I was telling you about um, this one probe the doctor's personality to, 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 to see whether he really is as audio. I was just going to ask that. Is that not something... Is so that's the one that's both of us, and this is the one that's just Simon. 
start out the story. They are not together. Like that. So I'm going to take both of those, uh, and I'm going to leave them in place because I don't need a copy in that library. I don't need to do anything with video, and I'm just going to have it go ahead and do the analysis and separate the mono. And that, that will just auto take that and say, hey, you know, this looks like two independent tracks. I'll just make them into two separate single tracks, and I'll remove silent channels uh, if indeed there were any. And uh, we will just go ahead and import this right into the new event. So there we are, and I'm going to uh, zoom out on these a little bit. So you can see we've got the two clips coming in. Um, there we go. Basically, I think it's done. It hasn't updated the, the waveform um, for the two clips. Now, I want to show you something first before we go too far into this. And you can obviously see that this one's a much more busy waveform because it's got the two of us talking, and then that one's got the big gaps where, well, they're small gaps because apparently Simon was doing most of the talking this time. So um, I'm going to come over here to the right, and this is the inspector, and you can see that this is a stereo um, recording. This is Simon's recording, and I am just going to convert this into a dual mono, and I'm going to delete one of them because I don't need both sides of his recording. And then I'm going to come back up to this one, and you can see that this one is already dual mono, and that's because it's two separate tracks. And I can come in here in this one, and I can just play it. And you can't hear anything because uh, somebody's not talking. Visually sexy is not. Okay, so mono channel one is me, and... Oh, there we go. Well, we had Simon talking. Um, try and fool Evelyn with it. And then their mono channel two is uh, is Simon. So what I'm going to do, and this is the cool part in Final Cut, is I'm going to take these two uh, tracks, and I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to say Synchronize uh, Tracks. And I'm just going to call this 206. Now what this is going to do, I've got here, it says Use Audio for Synchronization. Now we have other options in case I have to manually do this, but Final Cut is really, really good at identifying the sound. Uh, of course, it's kind of for multiple cameras and external recordings, uh, and matching them up and saying, oh, this is a synchronized clip, and it will make one clip for me, and it will take no time at all. And there it is, 206. And if we look at the properties over here, um, you see it's got, they're both dual mono now because I had converted Simon's to dual mono. So now I'm going to have to figure out which one's which. Uh, so the storyline clip is the one that is the original. Huh, good question. We just have to figure it out. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. And, you know, I, I actually am. Okay, so that's me. So if that's me, then this is Simon and we don't need it. And then this is Simon and we don't need his second channel. So let's just listen here. Six webcastable parts. And he, and, he, and he did it because he wanted... There we go. So I've now turned this into a two, only two active channels. And that's all I need to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new project because a project is an actual thing inside of a library, calling that one, uh, once again, very unimaginatively, uh, Doctor Who 206 real time. All of this is video stuff we don't care about. Um, the, uh, the audio is stereo 48 kilohertz ProRes 422, so it's uncompressed and uh, we're, we're good there. So there's our project. Now I'm going to come up here to the Fusion Patrol framework thing that I already have. And inside of this, I have the Fusion Patrol podcast opening titles, which I'm going to throw into the timeline. I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to go to my uh, my 206, and I'm going to throw that in at the end of the timeline, and I'll go back to the titles. I could do this later, but I just do it now. Uh, and, and, and then I can take a look at it, and barring any editing, this podcast is going to be, oh, an hour and ten long which is probably too long, but that hasn't stopped me before. So, 
Now we're going to come back here. I'm going to expand this out so I can see it a little bit better. And we'll just give it a listen. I'm starting by. And then we'll do it the old fashioned way. Those are the claps we used to use for synchronizing manually, um, which is uh, awesomely not. And this is probably the countdown looking at that. It's probably a 5 4 3. And in 5 4. Okay, and so that's the beginning of the podcast, and I'm just going to blade that right here. And and this is what I love about editing in Final Cut Pro. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fusion Patrol. I'm Eugene. And I'm Simon. And I'm just going to trim the end as well. There's the end music, and let's see if we're talking. Again next time on Fusion Patrol. And that's that. Blade it, cut it. And uh, I'm actually going to pull this up and overlay that like that so that the music is coming up as we fade out. Patrol. Okay, so now the podcast is down to um, uh, a minute, an hour, ten. So uh, this is where we start editing now. I'm going to go here at the beginning, and I'm just going to start this. Obviously, we're not going to edit this on here, but I just want you to see. Um, and I'm just going to come here. Uh, to this and I can say expand audio components and then that actually shows me my two separate waveforms and uh, the talking so now I can go through and edit the podcast I can do it without expanding the waveforms but I can go through and edit the podcast and I can cut pieces out like when we're coughing or we're talking and if I need to I can come in here and I can individually make modifications to sections uh, of the uh, podcast so for example if I cough but Simon keeps talking uh, or vice versa, uh, we're able to manipulate each track separately. I can also manipulate the audio separately, but I probably don't need to because Levelator probably has fixed it. So let's look at my talking. It is a peculiar time phenomena, a tidal wave of time. And if you look over here on the right, teams to disappear. I'm uh, the last words of the third team. I'm peaking out between 12 and 6, which is uh, approximately right. And let's just uh, find a, a little bit of Simon talking, like right here. Which would have been kind of going the, the going with the future of this, but instead they, they, they made a choice. Yep, and that's looking good too. So now it's really just a question of listening to the podcast and making sure there aren't any flubs or cuts or breaks that we have to put in. And here's the other thing that I really, really like about Final Cut over the other editors that I've used in the past. I can listen to it at double speed. Four speed, I can listen to it at four speed too, but it, that's a lot harder to catch mistakes. But at double speed, I can get through this thing twice as fast, which is, trust me, a blessing. Uh, and uh, it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't take as much time because I actually have to listen to every second of this podcast. And believe me, if you if you're tired of listening to me drone on. Think, think about how I feel after I've gone through this podcast. So I'm going to edit this now, and then we're going to come back at the end, and I'm going to show you what we do just to finalize this, and we'll go from there. You know, there must be a big bird on the other end, but I'm not necessarily yeah. trying to put together the image. And, and I guess what I'm getting at is when they're doing sound design. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I sound like an asthmatic whale. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to zoom in. Uh, and uh, that's probably about right there. Let's see. Thing at is, yeah, that's bad. So we just go to the range selector and we'll pick that up, and I can just play the range. And I definitely don't want that, so we delete it. And we... getting at is when they're doing sound design. Oh yeah, they are. Tr that's much better. It was revelations. So, um, but it, it, there is a nice line in there where, which I think exemplifies that 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 kind of knowing relationship and and teasing relationship between the Doctor and Evelyn that we were talking about. Shall I just do that again? Because I knocked the mic. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, there's so, another okay, one we need to three, take care of. Two, so we'll just go back to that a, point. Uh, mark the basically the out. Not there. There. 
And we'll come back here. So, um, but if there is a nice light, I'll see how there is a bit of backward. Right there. In in point. But if there is a nice light in there where which I think exemplifies yep. that. That's the right piece. Skim through it. Delete it. And let's listen. So, um, there is also that line in there which... I don't really like that little stumble, though, so I'm going to take that out. It doesn't make as much sense. So I just highlight the single track and hit delete. And that just basically mutes it. It was revelations. Um... There is also that line in there Much better. Much better. Which that knowing and teasing relationship between the Doctor and Evelyn that... that... Yeah, I can't write those off on my taxes. Um, all right, well, Simon, thank you for joining me. This is our second animated Doctor Who adventure. It's a pleasure, as always. And listeners, I hope you'll join us all again next time on Future Patrol. Future Patrol is a low Lovis production. Like us, leave us a review on iTunes. Or stop by and visit our website, Future Patrol. Okay, that is it. Um, we've brought it down to, wow, a whopping 1 hour and 11 minutes, which is um, it's still a long one, but then this will probably be a long one. So I'm just going to zoom out here so we can see what it looks like. And now I'm going to... This could be finished. I could just export this as an MP3. But I'm going to do one last piece that I can't do in Final Cut Pro. I'm just going to kiss it with audacity here. So I'm going to export it, and I've got an audio-only preset set here. And uh, this is irrelevant, but the settings, I'm pushing out an AIF, so it's a lossless file. And I'm going to send this out to my... Um, I'm going to make... Uh, heck, I don't even need to make a new folder here. I'm just going to put it right in that. Uh, directory and you can see the progress is right here and the share was successful alright let's hop over to audacity and take a look at the last step okay I am in audacity and I don't need to do anything particularly special here I'm just gonna drag that piece that we just created in and it's going to import. And this one last piece I'm going to do here is absolutely invaluable in Audacity. So what I'm going to do is, if you look down uh, here, I'm going to highlight everything. And it shows that the podcast is 1 hour, 11 minutes, 31.463 seconds long. Now I'm going to come up here to the effects, and I'm going to say truncate silence. And uh, I'm just going to leave these as... So any anyway, sound below this level will be considered silence. If it's more than half a second long, it will be cut to half a second. And we're going to run that. What that's going to do is it's going to take any of these uncomfortable pauses like that out of the audio track and it it can make a significant difference on the podcast sometimes sometimes it can remove up to 10 minutes of just wasted space and you do come out sounding very natural and in fact you come out sounding a lot more polished than you actually are so remember we're at one hour and 11 minutes 31 seconds And after conversion, we're at one hour, three minutes, 55 seconds. So quite a, quite a difference. And if I come in here and start playing. In the early episodes with the Doctor and Evelyn, by the time we, we, we get to this, she has, as that kind of comment pretty much shows, she's got his measure and he's... Basically, the gaps are undetectable at this point. It, it sounds like two very well polished speakers talking on the line. So that's it. Then we just take it and we export the audio. Uh, in this case as an mp3 file. Save it. I've already got my default set up in here for uh, this particular. I don't actually care about this but I can go ahead and put it in. That's 206 Doctor Who Real time. Oh, I'm getting tired of typing that. OK.
And there we go. We can just exit Audacity. We don't even need to save this. Let's go take a look at the file. Okay, and there's our final output, and I'll just um, expand that out a little bit. You can see that the AIS are 1.24 gig, and the uh, MP3 is 46 meg, which is the difference between lossful and lossy uh, data. But let's just take a quick listen. Suspect there was a, a, a yes, and and any kind of only a couple of lines where I've just thought, yeah, he, um, and everything you know, the sounds got the shot of one, but <laughs> about ready to go. Or Twitter, search for you. So I think that's all good to go, and we are out. So that's the process. That's what we're doing now with the podcast. Uh, the uh, the image it gets uploaded actually when I post it to my podcasting host so I don't have to deal with the, uh, the image. If I want to do custom ones, that's different. But if I leave it blank, it just goes with the standard uh, Fusion Patrol one. And so I am good to go. What? You're still here? Oh, well, then definitely remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe.